So, we're coming in at 10.39 p.m. It's late. It's late. Um, better late than ever. Yeah. So, this is the stash cast for the 17th of November today, Sunday. And if you're curious to know what I've got stashed and what I have to say about it, then stay tuned. I'm a Radiant Noir. I'm a resident witch and creatrix over to Radius Hand and Denise Divine, where I create myth, magic, and meaning for your everyday life through art, intuition, and energy work. And on Sundays, we like to do a little stash diving. So, uh, aside from the liter alliteration of Sunday stash, stash Sunday, um, I like to delve into um, the things that I've collected for the work that I do, whether it's art, or magic, or healing, or whatever. Um, because I know when I was starting out, you know, I, I didn't know what things were for. I didn't know why you would use things. I didn't know where to get them. Um, and so it led to, you know, a lot of reading and a lot of finding out things the hard way. And, and sometimes that can just cost a lot of time and money. Um, now we'll preface my use saying that, um, however you use whatever tool you're using is fine. Um, in the case of today, we're going to be talking about crystals. So there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of texts and books that you know tell you that crystals should be used this way, and that this one means this, and this is how you care for them. And I need you to take that with a grain of salt. Um, a lot of those um, references don't necessarily work for people because you know why a, a crystal or a stone speaks to you and why it speaks to me is not the same reason. Um, and what we get out of holding it and, you know, uh, uh, three or four people may get this out of the stone and then somebody else gets something different and no, nobody's wrong. Right. Um, so just take it with a grain of salt and it's almost better that you avoid kind of references like that. Um, just because really, you know, they're, they're based on what? Right, they're they're based on somebody else's opinion, um, somebody else's usage, which really, really might not work for you. Um, and it's best to kind of follow your own intuition when it comes to using these things, and listen to you know what is what is the medicine of the stone for you personally. So that's my thing on that. As far as caring for them, um, you know, learn which ones walked uh react to water or soap and water uh don't get those wet uh learn which ones react to sunlight or heat um so that you don't damage them and yeah pretty much it so and i, I guess this is a little service announcement that a lot of stones don't actually need cleansing um they take care of it they, they can take care of that for themselves um, and they definitely don't need charging because they do the work they do because they know how, that's what they know how to do. Um, I don't think you can, if your intentions are good and well meant, I don't think you can like over cleanse something. Um, but if you think about it, you know, you can definitely bleach something too much, right? So there's that. Uh, so I... Basically, I feel like if you just listen to what the stone is telling you, you'll have better results than if you try to follow some rote routine. Yeah, it's like a total aside, but I think it's worth mentioning um, because a lot of people grasp onto, well, this is how this is made, this is why this is this, and well, I don't get any, I don't get anything wrong of it, so I'm wrong, or or maybe you know it's wrong, and it's like, well, you know, gray area. So there's that. Without further ado, uh, for those of you watching this on YouTube, if you want to get the full post and all the pictures and everything, you should head over to the link at the very top of the description box, and I'll send you over to Patreon. Uh, and yeah, so what I've got today is crystals. Um, let's see, I can show you one. I've got one on my desk. This little chunk of uh, amethyst. <sighs> my uh, pendulum sits on this because it's a nice little stand and all these little pieces kind of catch it. Um, so, um, crystals are used for all kinds of reasons. Uh, people use them for their energy work, 
uh, magic, healing, some people just like them. Um, they can make lovely decorations. I actually have a big chunk of amethyst that has two, or it has, no, I think it has just one cylinder cut in to basically be a candle holder. It's just, just like, what? Um, and they can add, you know, they can be used as decoration, lend a certain ambience to the room. Um, I generally don't use them in that way. Like, I, I like everything I do and use to have meaning. And so, because it's pretty, is not, it's not much of a meaning. So, there's that. Hmm. Um, now, as far as what I use these for, um, when I originally started collecting crystals, most of my use was for energy work and um, healing work. Um, I would do like laying on st blank stones on people, um, use it to clear things. I have a, I have a stone. Actually, it's, I can't reach it, but it's a nice big hefty piece of um, black tourmaline. And whenever I do readings in public. I will set the tourmaline on top of the deck in between people to kind of remove any yuck um, from you know people because you know people people have terrible energetic hygiene you know they uh, carry things around and they revisit them mentally and emotionally and they don't let go and they don't move on and sometimes they can harbor a lot of guilt or anger or whatever and not necessarily be you know cognizant of it and just kind of be like kind of spreading that shit around um so yeah just like a lot of people a lot of people don't wash their hands as much as they probably should right uh so that's like a thing too um yeah but as it went through um i also used them a lot for photographs which is still kind of in the intuition energy work area honestly um if you look at any of my card of the day you'll see them uh, I do incorporate crystals here and there with some of my work, as far as a prop in the in the photo. But at the same time, sometimes I also use crystals themselves, like crystal beads and, and pendants and stuff like that, um, in the work itself. So sometimes it's also there that way. Um, and yeah, from shit. So uh, and like I said, what I've done so far is a lot of pictures with them. Um, this piece, for example, holds Alphonse. It's Alfie. My, uh, pendulum. And so that's, that's a whole thing. Uh, I've used them in magical work. I've used them, um, I've got, uh, I usually have a worry stone handy, um, because I'm constantly stressed out, basically. Um, yeah. Yeah. I actually have a rule when I go into a shop that sells crystals, I'm not allowed to touch any of them. Because the chances are, if I'm drawn to touch a crystal, I'm going to have to take it home. Uh, and uh, my, my wallet's not overly fond of that idea. Uh, so, there's that. That's a whole, that's a whole thing. Um, i trying to put this back. So, Yeah. Uh, you'll have to pardon me. I am disassociating and I'm trying so hard, so hard to, like, maintain cognizance to, like, the world around me. I'm having, like, a really hard time. Uh, and I guess some of why I bring that up is kind of, I don't want to normalize it in the fact of, um, you know, saying it's okay. It's not okay. It just is. Right? It's not okay. It's not not okay. It's just how it is. Um, but I think, I think people think that like, mental illness looks a certain way, right? They expect it to be sensationalized and bigger and bolder and just over the top. And sometimes it's quiet and nervous and weird, uh, which is, yeah, that's the whole thing. But, um, also just, I like to be honest with where I'm at with people. Um, and that's like a reflexive thing for me that, that gives you the opportunity to like make a better choice for yourself. Like if you can't deal with something, you can opt out. Uh, on that note, some crystals are actually super, super good 
eye grounding me and like kind of holding on um, one of my favorite crystals, which I can show you because it's like within arm's reach. This is bad boy. This is a smoky quartz egg. And I think it's always funny when they call them eggs because this is not shaped like an egg. Like it's about the size of an egg, like a heavy egg. Um, but I've, I've slept with them under my pillow before. I've had, carried them in my purse. I have one that, uh, when I left uh, an ex years ago that I would keep with me whenever I had to deal with them um, because I would just, they made me so incredibly uncomfortable because they were abusive. Um, and so stuff like that matters, right? So, yeah, yeah. So, that's it. All right. Well, thanks for joining me. Thanks for hanging out with me. Sorry, I'm a little... What? <laughs> Uh, can't be helped. I feel like it's worse at night, honestly. Um, just super inconvenient. Because I like to work at night, and I've gotten to the point where, like, I just can't do that. I'm also trapped between this desire right now to stay awake forever. Not a good idea, by the way. Uh, logistically speaking. And to just say, fuck everything and go to sleep. Also not a good idea. Uh, because I have stuff to do, right? Like, I could put this video up tonight, because I want it up. Um, so, yeah. Speaking of this video, uh, let me say that I'm going to put this up tonight, because I want it up tonight. I My goal is t for all the videos to go up on the date that they're supposed to. Now, I've already failed at that, like, for half of November. Um, so, I'd like to do better for the rest of November. And I'd like to get everything up that I can, back posted, get up. So that on December I can like reflect and say, oh, okay, this is what happens. This is where this led to. So there's that. Um, but I totally forgot where I was going. That's super awesome. Oh, okay. I think I found it. Yes, sweet. Thought came back. Sometimes it comes back. Sometimes it doesn't. It's usually it doesn't come back. Um, that being said, I'm going to put this post up tonight. There are not going to be any pictures tonight. There are not going to be any pictures because I want good pictures in the daylight. And that is not something I thought about or had the energy for today. So, so, it's going to get done tomorrow. Um, I also need to find all of it. Like, I have two boxes full of crystals, but then I've got this bad boy, and the amethyst, and another giant, like, piece of amethyst, like, yeah, big, um, hanging around. And, um, I gotta gather all my, like, loose, disparate stones. Um, I have one or two that have gone missing. I know where they've gone, approximately. Um, I have one I gave away. Uh, and so I want to get all the <laughs> pictures, and then I'd also like to label them all. Um, so I'd like you to be able to see what they are. I don't know if I'm going to put them together in groups, or whether I'm just going to... I might take a picture... I might take them out of the box and space them out, actually, and then put text on the picture so you can see which ones they are easily. Yeah, I'll do that. But this is going to have to happen tomorrow. So, yeah, I'm hitting my deadline of, hey, this video needs to be uploaded soon, and my brain is slowly turning to sludge to the point of, I can't think straight. So it's clearly time to go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, thank you for joining me. Thank you for being here. Remember, if you enjoyed this video from my Patreon, you can share it. If you're on YouTube, hey, subscribe. Thanks for joining me. <sighs> know that in the links in the description box below, you'll see links to both of my sites and all of my active social media. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for a, I think we're doing a, I think it's Monday Motivation. I'm going to be motivated at this point. It is.
We'll see if I'm motivated. If I'm not motivated, I'm still gonna set an intention for the week. Um, just talk about stuff, really. Yeah, yeah, stuff. I'm good at that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So thanks for being here. Thanks for being a subscriber. Thanks for checking out my videos. Thanks for just being part of my world. It really means a lot for people to give a shit. Um, and it's pumpkin time. Bye.